Hello students, how are you? Today we will solve some questions from your mathematics book of chapter measurement given at page number 120, exercise 5.4. In previous classes, you have learned how to measure length and distance with help of hand span and feet. After that, you learned about meter and centimeter. Now you remember where meter is used? Yes, meter is used by a cloth merchant to measure the length of clothes with help of meter rod. There are other instruments with which we can measure length such as inchy tape and measuring tape. So to measure the length of small instruments like pencil, eraser, we can use a scale. So scale helps us to measure length in centimeter. Now, this is a scale. We use a scale to measure the length of small objects. So, here you can see on a scale there are 15 big marks and distance between two big marks is called 1 cm. And on the other side there are 6 big marks and distance between two big marks is called as 1 inch. So, whenever we have to measure the length, we will start it measuring from the point 0. Now we will solve first question of exercise 5.4. So in this we will measure the distance between A point and B point by drawing a line. So to measure the distance we will put 0 point of the scale at A point. Now draw a line along the scale. And see at the B point number is 8. Which means length of this line is 8 cm. Now here we have two points that is P and Q. Now we will measure the distance between P and Q. Again we will put the 0 point of scale at P. And then draw a line along the edge of scale. Till the point Q. Now see the length of the line on the scale that is 14. Which means length of this line is 14 centimeter. Now here we have two points that is M and N. Now we will measure the length of these two points. So to measure the length we will place 0 point at M. And then draw a line till end point along the edge of scale. And now see the point at the scale that is 10. So length of this line is 10 centimeter. Now next question here length is given that is 5 centimeter. Now we have to draw a line of 5 centimeter. So first of all we will mark a point. A at the page then place the zero point at A and then mark another point at 5 cm length. So here we will mark the second point and name it B. So now join these two points by drawing a line. And the length of this line is 5 cm. So here we will write 5 cm. Now length given is 7 cm. So to draw a line of 7 cm we will mark a point M. Then place the 0 point at M point. And mark another point at the distance of 7 cm. Meters. So now name it N. Now draw a line along the edge of the scale and the length of the line is 7 cm. Now length given is 9 cm. So we have to draw a line of 9 cm. So to draw this first of all we will mark a point 
and name it P. Now place the zero point of scale at point P and then mark another point at the 9 centimeter. So here mark the point and name it Q. Now draw a line along the edge of scale. So now this is the line of 9 centimeter. Now we will solve one question from PASS that is Punjab Achievement Survey. So question is choose the correct statement. Here four statements are given. We will choose the correct statement. So first is length of chalk is shortest which means that length of chalk is shortest among these three. Next B is all three things are of equal length which means length of all these three, three things is equal. Next C note is longer than cutter which means length of note is longer than the length of cutter. Next D length of chalk is longest. This means that chalk is longest among these three. So which statement is correct? Yes A that is length of chalk is shortest. So we will mark tick against A. Hope you have understood how to solve these questions. Now for your homework you will solve all these questions in your notebooks. Thank you.